All right, guys, so now we're in the limo. Um, uh, most of the same features here, as I mentioned. This one's a little fancier. It does have cruise control, etc. You still have your en engine idler over here. You do still have your lights over here. Your shifter is the same exact spot, and your parking brake is in the exact same spot. Um, so the features on this one, anything up here is for you and your comfort and your enjoyability. So this is your radio, your heat, your all this. Obviously your hazard button and your door unlock buttons. All right. The main thing up here for you guys is the master switches up here. So right now, if you push master off, that basically shuts everything off in the back. So the only time you want to push master off is when your customers are completely out of the vehicle for the night. Otherwise, it shuts off the TV, the radio, everything else back there, then you have to reset them. So you don't want to hit master off until the absolute end of the night. This button here, this is your ceiling button. So that's going to be basically like your loading button. Kayla can stick the phone in the back there. It's daytime, so it's kind of hard to see, but if you'll see on the ceiling there, all the lights are on, this button here is basically your loading and unloading light. So when you go to... Um, load or unload you hit that ceiling light and overheads come on and off all right other things you want to do usually when you're getting ready for a customer to be in the vehicle is radio and tv i'll go through all the buttons real quick then i'll come back and give a little synopsis on what each does this is to lock our window here this is to make our little fancy window go up and down okay. this is to lock it AC as it mentions heat this is your fan speed your panel lights now these are your panel lights for this panel right here so you're driving home from O'Hare some night it's really really dark and uh, this is really bright and it's distracting you you can go right here and hit panel lights and that's gonna go off so if it's distracting to you you can do that you just have to make sure you know where you're hitting to hit the button back on light master on off that's for the back so again if you have lights on in the back turn on your lights on that's all your lights on right there and then you can go off as well so that's your master light on off so maybe you want to keep the radio and tv on but you want the lights off you hit that one master off is everything next we're going to go and hit tv radio tv radio is just like it sounds and as you heard you're gonna hear that little beep when that happens what's that doing is turning on the t both tvs in the back and the radio okay i'll get to that in a minute we'll go to the back and show you what that all does but basically as you're preparing to get a customer in the vehicle um, you want to make sure those features are on for them and are ready to go you know typically in the back you're going to have your logo on the tv so when the customer gets in, you can show them how to Bluetooth the stereo in the back or whatever the case may be. But again, you have the master control up here. Um, if, they, if they're getting out of the vehicle and the TVs and radio don't need to be on, you can actually just hit that and they will go off. Okay, this is pretty self-explanatory. This is your, your, you only have one fan speed up here and that's medium. So you can turn on your heat or AC. So hypothetically, you're going to pick up your customers um, you know, you're 20 minutes away from picking them up. You could want to go ahead and kick on that AC in the summer or the heat in the winter. So whatever one you want, you want to hit heat, medium, the fan goes on, and that's for your fan speed in the back. So again, keep in mind, all this is for everything in the back. This is all stuff in the back of the vehicle. 